Whether you wear a cowboy hat or a farmer's cap, if you've got cattle, you pay your beef checkoff. But do you know where it goes and who spends it and if it's worth it? Well, this is Baxter Black, and I found the answers on MyBeefCheckoff.com. When I sell a critter, I'm supporting projects that keep consumers loving beef. And volunteers, beef and dairy folks like you and me, decide how the dollars are spent, and they're good at it. Each dollar invested returns a $5 bill, so get to know your checkoff at MyBeefCheckoff.com. Baxter Black on U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by the Beef Checkoff. If you have questions about how your beef checkoff is invested, who makes those decisions, and what's the return, you'll find all the answers and so much more on MyBeefCheckoff.com. Have you ever taken on a two-man job all by yourself? Of course you have. We all do. And that includes Baxter Black. So there I was, pulling one end of the wire, patching fence. The strand lay stretched tight in the claw of the hammer, which I had balanced against the post, bracing it with my leg. I sighted down the wire, peeking under my arm, and raised the wire a half an inch. Perfect. I took the staple from my lips and set it against the post just behind the barb and reached for my pounding hammer, which lay exactly three inches beyond my grasp. I turned to my assistant. Are you kidding? I had no assistant. Just another case of one man doing a two-man job. You run the cow down the alley, nearly into the squeeze chute, manage to cram a piece of pipe behind her, then run around, open the head gate to incise her to come forward, close the tailgate, keeping one hand on the head lever. You try and kick her through the bars as she soles up and drops to all fours. I turn to my assistant. You've got both corner posts of the south side of your corral set and tamped. You stretch your line, and dig a hole equal distance between them, and then stick in the post. You prop it up with a shovel and a cottonwood limb, maybe, and then walk back behind the first post for a sighting. It's too short and leaning to the west. Well, you return to the offending post, kick in a little dirt, and then carefully readjust the shovel and the limb props, and then return for the second of what turns out to be 300 trips back and forth before you complete the job by yourself. Two-man jobs crop up often, especially when you're alone. Hanging a four by eight sheet of plywood, anywhere. Leveling a cross beam between two uprights eight feet off the ground. Peeling your rope off a steer, off his head or the horns or his feet in the middle of the pen. But to our credit, we get it done. And by ourselves if we have to. When I'm asked what my definition of a cowboy is, I reply, someone who can replace a uterine prolapse in a range cow in the middle of a three-section pasture with nothing but a horse and a rope. We who work the land are that wonderful combination of cleverness, belligerence, and immunity to pay. This is Baxter Black from out there. Baxter will join us again next week. Until then, you can check out his work online at BaxterBlack.com.